what is the future of uh, the hospitality industry in india post pandemic we have seen a boom if you go to major towns you will find it very difficult to get rooms in some of the better known properties and prices have also gone through the roof uh, the prime minister has called for example wed in india and the debate that was being had recently was is there a place in kashmir for example which can sustain a ambani wedding so what is the future of this sector so i think in the past we had a traditional approach we would look back and try and project what the future demand would be and future and then all you had to do was look at supply because supply is known five years out it takes time to build a hotel but i think we are at a very different stage in our country today so i keep getting asked yesterday when i was in bombay i made a bunch of uh, mutual fund guys and they kept saying if you look back last 15 years demand grew by this supply grew by this and so on and you know they are not incorrect because the hotel industry is like this oil industry a 1% increase in demand and a 10% increase in price is what happens because you cannot increase supply but i think what we are missing in our country and it's we have a foremost expert here mr amitabh khan ah. which i'm sure he look at the fact is that we are at a different point in the history of this country traditionally we always used to talk you know x percent growth and so on and so forth and it reminds me of what happened when reagan was asked as a president what do you think of brazil and he said it's a country of great potential it will always have great potential <laughs> so that means it will never be realized and a lot of foreign investors used to say that about india but the most interesting thing is india has finally reached a gdp per household where typically in the last 10 economies that hit it there was a series of j shaped or hockey stick growth in various discretionary items which for a very large part of the population became non discretionary i'll give you a simple example 25 years ago how many people in this room or their parents if they were going from bombay to delhi what would they go by the default option was train second class ac and the luxury option or the discretionary option was flight today there are half a million indians who are flying every day what do you look at the cagr of this look at the rate of growth of airline capacity it's one and a half x in the next 5 years airports are growing from 150 to 250 four lane highways have tripled the most interesting and i i don't know which of you track automobiles in china in 2006 where india is today 5% of the automobile sale was suvs in 5 years 20% of 4x number of was suvs it grew 16 times so actually my daughter asked me the other day what do you when you look out what are you muttering i say i'm counting suvs <laughs> okay now here's the deal at 7000 dollars per capita which is 35000 dollars per household in china in indonesia and 34 years ago in taiwan hotel mid market hotel and luxury hotel demand grew 6x in 5 years and that only happened at 2500 to 3000 dollars per capita so to me it's very simple i think three quarters of discretionary items in india for hundreds of millions of indians will become you know routine and when that happens it's balle balle actually for the, practically most of discretionary income. i'll give you one last number yeah. Morgan Stanley I just read this report today 65% of personal consumption expenditure in India is staples which you you know food and shelter and that kind of, I mean food and equivalents and that's at gdp today 5 years from now that 65 becomes 35 because gdp doubles or well, you know in 7 years but the growth of the non discretionary the, the discretionary the non fixed part is four times so i think in every dis- consumption industry in india you are going to have an insane amount of domestic demand and actually that's what i am betting on 